ferry right now to Guimas Island. A few of you reached out to say there is some kind of an infestation on the island. So of course we had to check it out. So apparently one person said it's even like a carpet full of fuzzy creatures. How's it going? Fine. Good to see Hi. you. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, careful. Don't get one on your head. Oh, oh, oh. I just didn't realize they're, they're all cool, over the place. Oh. They are everywhere. Wow. You're going to step on the lots of them and you're going to get them on. You. Look at this. I feel like every step I take, I'm crushing several of them. Look at this bush right here. This is a huckleberry bush. And you can see them writhing in the grass and on the walls of my house and have destroyed the orchard. It first became a problem uh, probably about two weeks ago. You come inside and they start crawling out of your neck and up your pants and everything else. And it's very irritating. And you start getting the heebie-jeebies. I had to get a haircut because my own hair was freaking me out. You know, I'd go, <laughs> So what's up in the trees? Those are tents, those are the tents. They're up here too. Those trees are the real favorite food of these caterpillars. All that right there should be just a canopy of green leaves, particularly alders and all kind of fruit trees really get infested with them. Oh, I'll show you some more better stuff over here. So he just said he's gonna show us something so gross we're not gonna believe it. It's gonna be tough to top what I've experienced in the last few minutes. <laughs> Never seen anything like it. Now watch this. Do you want to try sweeping it, Mimi? The big, oh! the big crack. Do it, do it, do it. Once you get that cleared, you can step up. Right here? Come on, yeah, sweep Why all right. Why are you making me because do this? Because feel how it feels. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it happens every seven years or so, but I didn't notice it because I didn't live here the last time. We're going to his neighbor's house because apparently they're all kind of having the same <laughs> issue. To paradise. Normally, you know, this is paradise, but not this year. <laughs> I had my husband look over my shoulder, my hat, and he peeled five or six off me while I was, when I came in the house. <laughs> I think we need an expert to tell us what we're looking at here. Ooh, I know the perfect guy at the state DNR. I have seen Western Tent Caterpillar crawling all over the ground, you know, going on a bike ride, but I have never seen anything uh, like that in Washington. I've, I've been with DNR for 15 years. Do you have any idea why it's so prolific on Guimas Island right now? What's going on? The natural control of the, the caterpillars, primarily a virus, has lowered uh, over the last few years and it's just allowing a lot more caterpillars to survive and breed. The food that they're eating, drought stress will cause leaves on trees to be smaller and uh, the sugars in those leaves a little more concentrated. And so it's possible these caterpillars are just getting a, a more nutritious uh, a food source right now. How long does this last? How long can the people of Guimas Island deal with this? <laughs> yeah, it's probably just a, a few more weeks. It's part of nature, so, uh, you know, that's just how we got to roll with it here. <laughs>